Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and today we are going to be potting up my tomato seedlings that you guys started with me a few videos back. First of all, I'm going to apologize for my voice. <laughs> it's probably a mix between allergies and all of the smoke in the air right now. There's some crazy Canadian wild wild flowers. Oh my word. Canadian wildfires that are coming down into our neck of the woods. And it's just hazy. I'll try and get a little footage if it's not raining or dark by the time we're done with this. <laughs> um, so let's just get right into it. So what I have here are two different options. Um, one is a little bit more cost effective than the other or works better in a pinch if you can't get some of these items. So here, what I have is just a seed tray. Um, this is what you can get at any online seed store like Gardener Supply. You can get these at your local Walmart or hardware store or something like that. Nursery can sell these. These just hold the pots in them. These are the ones that I showed you in my seed starting video for um, the water wicking mat that sits on top of these. Um, These are actually supposed to be for this. There's a water wicking mat that sits on top of this and it sits down in the water. <clears throat> you set your seed tray on top of it, which all mine are full, and then it self waters. So that's super handy, love these. I'm gonna invest in more the next time they have a sale. They might have like a Black Friday sale or a Cyber Monday sale. I'm gonna try and snag some more of these then because I love these. Um, they work super great for like the broccoli and the cabbage and peppers and everything so highly recommend these if you can afford it and want to splurge so I can just use one of these it's a little dirty use one of these and then these are like the burpee little containers that you can get um, at Walmart same things hardware stores um, I got them at my local Menards if you're not from the Midwest area and you don't know what Menards is it's kind of like a Lowe's or a Home Depot only more for our area, they do 11% rebates, and I highly recommend if you have a Menards, take advantage of the 11% rebates when you buy stuff, because we've got a ton of Menards money back and have been able to do projects and purchase things with that 11% rebate. Not affiliated, I'm just saying what we love. <laughs> so you can use these. Um, so when we do pot these up, we wanna try and take off these little little leaves that are kind of crusty. There were their baby leaves, like the first little dicot leaves that come up when they sprout. So you just want to get rid of that. And then we're actually going to plant these as deep as we physically can. Um, so I won't be using these, even though these are fancy, they can only get me so deep. They will work, but these are actually going to be better. And I'm going to go over this really quick. So here's another method that you can use. These, if I potted them up, I would just put them like this, and then I'd have my little water catching system, and these would be in there. What I'm going to be doing this year, and I did some last year, I use these, but you could actually go to your Dollar Tree or dollar store of any kind, Walmart. You can buy like these in three packs, and they're super inexpensive, and they work well, because once you're done using them for this, you could throw a roast in there and put it in the oven. You don't have to waste it. So this is versatile, it's reusable, and it's cheap. Same with these, these are your basic solo cups. Mine are actually, I need to clean that garden shelf. Mine are actually um, Dollar General, just I think they were like 425. I'll try and put prices of these things that I find in the video as I go, just to try and help you out and to see what we could be in as far as price as we do this. <coughs> now that bag that I showed you has 50 cups in it, so that will get me 50 plants potted up. Not to mention, look at how deep these suckers are. They're gonna be plenty deep enough for me to bury this plant and get it in there nice and, nice and deep to get a good root system going, and these things are gonna shoot up. And um, the one thing is a little bit of work with these. You gotta have your drain holes. Don't forget your drain holes on your pots and everything like I did with my onions. Remember that? 
They're doing good. They're outside hardening off. I'm actually leaving them outside overnight tonight and hoping to plant on Friday. So now that I've shown you the options, I'm gonna set this off to the side and we are gonna get potting up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make a few drain holes. Be very careful. You can use, I'm just using a fillet knife because that's what I had closest to me. And I'm just making a few punctures, like four or five. You just want it to be able to drain. And I'm gonna do this throughout all of my um, cups that I'm gonna use. We're gonna do an experiment. Let's see if I can do two at a time with this. Oh yeah. There we go. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. That goes way faster. Do two or three at a time. You can use a you can use a screwdriver, you can use a scissors, you can use a knife. Be careful. Very sharp. My girls are all showered up and getting ready for bed because it is. 914 otherwise they usually could help me with this this is a great thing to do with your kids or grandkids just to kind of get them in the world of showing them where their food comes from showing them the tomato plants and them being able to smell that it kind of smells like a tomato is crazy i love the way tomato sm plants smell and basil plants they're my favorite um so now that we've got these done i'll kind of show you a couple i'm not going to have you sit here through me through this whole repotting process. But I just kind of want to show you how this works using this uh, rotisserie chicken style <laughs> method of planting seeds. So now all you're gonna do is kind of choose your starting spot and you're gonna just dig. You can have gloves if you want. I like to have my hands in the dirt. Um, and you're gonna gently dig. The root system is pretty, pretty sturdy. So just grab out what you need. And like this little guy, I'm not gonna have time to let him grow up with my growing zone. It's, this is never gonna mature in time for me to get tomatoes from. Um, do not give these to your chickens. Nightshades can kill your chickens. So uh, tomato plants, um, potato plants, not good for your chickens. Do not give them these. Otherwise, like my brassicas and stuff, I would give my chickens anything that I thinned out of there as a little treat. So setting it out to the side as much as it kills me makes the most sense. Now these two, I'm gonna do this over here. Well, I'll just bring it up over. <coughs> these two are pretty close together and the roots are pretty intertwined. So I'm just gonna kinda work at it until I can get them to come apart. And they come apart naturally, see that? This one came apart on its own. There we go. See? So now I have two plants that I'm ready to pot up. I'm gonna take off these little bottom leaves so it's just a naked stem. And that's really not hanging on. So now you can kind of see how deep you wanna do this. And I'm gonna end up putting, this is to the bottom. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit, whoops tiny bit of soil in there not much at all and I'm not packing it down and I'm just gonna hold this and I'm gonna gently get some soil in there you want to kind of break it up as you dump it don't pack it down because you want that root system to be able to really work in there because all of those little hairs I've told you guys before I'm sure you've seen it on other videos. The little hairs on the stem are gonna become roots. And this is how deep your root system is gonna be when it comes time to transplant outdoors. So we're gonna go ahead, kinda gently pop, pat it down just to keep it steady in the middle. Not like pressing it down, packing it in. We're just gently tapping. <clears throat> And you want to make sure that you give yourself enough room to water these. <clears throat> you could probably try and bottom water, but with these holes, I don't think it's going to let a, a lot of water through, through the bottom. Enough, not sufficient enough to water the plant. So I'm going to be top watering these until they're ready to go outside and harden off. I'm just going to pat that down a little bit. 
And I'll bring this closer so you guys can take a look at it. Okay, here we go. And that's how you pot up a tomato plant. I gave enough room here at the base right before it wise off so that it can have a little bit of a trunk. You don't want to bury it up to that Y. You just kind of want to get it close. So there's one. And now I'm going to do this about a million more times. <laughs> so I'm going to get all of these guys potted up. I need to clear off some shelf space and I will be right back. One thing I want to mention before I continue is this table. It's amazing. I love it. It's a game table, I think is what it was marketed as. Um, and I got this at my local Menards as well. It's really nice. It's kind of, I think, made mostly for flaying fish and stuff because it's got your measurements here. But underneath, there's hookups um, in the back you can't see. <clears throat> and you can actually make this a working sink. And then it has a drain and it's <clears throat> got a little tube on it and you can put a five gallon bucket under there or you can just let it run if you're outside. But this, being that it's my stomach height, is a great table for working with your plants. This is a wonderful garden table. We can use it for, we're, we might actually get a second one and use it for just meat, because this kind of has a, you know, that's kind of gross, and I don't know if I want to do meat on this one, so this has kind of been the dedicated garden table. And I think I'm gonna get another one. We only paid like $45 for this one, because we got it on a Black Friday deal at Menards, and it's been through, put through so much, literally. It's the best, highly recommend. So we're gonna get potting up here. Um, this is just the regular seed starting soil, the same stuff that I put in here. It's no different, only it's fresh. Um, this was just straight out of the bag. I just got it all wet and then I just crumble it as I fill and we're gonna get ready to go. This is gonna be awesome. <clears throat> I wanted to try and catch this before it got any darker out, but tonight is not an overcast sky. This is supposed to be a clear sky. <clears throat> if you can see in the distance, all along that horizon there, that hill, that is not supposed to be that foggy. This is not fog, this is smoke from the wildfires. When you sniff, it smells like someone is burning something down the road and they're having a bonfire. <clears throat> this stuff is crazy. This happened a couple years ago too, really bad during the 4th of July, and it was awful. So that is why I sound like I sound, I'm pretty sure. Also, here are my onion plants. The picture in this, the quality in this video looks awful, but they're really not that sad looking, I promise. You wanna go in, buddy? Go ahead, buddy. I'm gonna put these up higher somewhere before I go to bed, because I don't trust the cats to not try and use this as a litter box. But I'm gonna keep potting up and I'll be back. All right, so here is where I am leaving off tonight. I got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen of them potted up. I had a little extra room in this large tray. These are fairly cheap too. These are the really long ones. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. And they're kind of flimsy, but they work pretty well. My poor peppers, yeah, they're getting a little dry. So I'm going to water everything and then I'm going to go to bed. But this is where I'm leaving off for tonight. I made a good little dent out of this. Um, there's some of these smaller ones that I'm really not going to, oops, I'm so sorry, there. These smaller ones that are like significantly smaller, I'm not potting those up. Only going for these big boys um, because right now I'm in a time crunch and I really need to get these growing as fast as I can. Now that I've moved them to their own domain, I'm hoping within the next week I'll see some significant growth on these. I'll kind of try and use this footage as a back and forth on what it looks like as far as how much growth we get in the next week to two weeks. Um, at the end of two weeks, nope, let me see. Yep, at the end of two weeks, so the be uh, beginning of June-ish time frame, maybe June 3rd, I guess. If I have to push it out, it'll be the next weekend. I want to get these in the ground. So I'm hoping they're going to be large enough by that time to get in the ground outside. Once they get in the ground outside... 
and I'll show you how I plant these. There's a little mixture that I that I use to put in the hole and it's just a whole process. I'll show you how we plant these. We had great success last year with them. Um, so I'm gonna let these be and I'm gonna get my butt to bed. So thank you guys again for hanging out with me as I potted up these seedlings. I really appreciate you being here. Um, my friend just texted me and she said, oh my gosh, guess who hit 200 subscribers? <laughs> I'm so grateful for her. She's always keeping an eye on my channel and <coughs> telling me about subscribers. I don't often have time to look. I just decided I'm gonna start faithfully posting videos and just share because my heart felt led to share. I think God put it on my heart to share, um, to encourage. That's the whole point of this channel, is to encourage you guys. This is what I do at Goodness Watch. It's not telling you what time it is. 10.05. This is what I do at 10.05 at night because I work a full-time job. Um, I'm doing this. I'm going to go try and get my little one down for bed. She's getting tired. i got to get myself cleaned up and ready for bed. I'll be probably in bed by like 11 11 30 and then I wake up again at six o'clock in the morning and I do it all over again I have a full work day I come home and I make this happen it's just all about making it happen and going out there and doing it I know it's easier said than done sometimes but when there's a will there's a way and I always say that too <laughs> so this is my encouragement for this video is for you to just go ahead and jump in push yourself figure out your priorities and go for it my priorities are not I mean no offense to anybody who does this it's all in what you want as a person but I'm not gonna spend the time to go get my no my nose oh my gosh my nails and my toes done I tried to combine those see what I did there my nails and my toes done um I'm not going to get my hair professionally done I'm a box kind of girl just get it done and over with and most of the time it's under a hat or in a bun anyway because I'm busy. Like, I just have prioritized what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is homestead stuff and self-sufficiency stuff and food on my shelf stuff. So if that's something you want, I want you to fully commit yourself to it in, in any capacity. You don't have to start your, your seeds, <coughs> start your plants from scratch in order to be a gardener. You don't. You can find someone like me who's got extra and I can share with you or you find a neighbor that <clears throat> wants to get rid of some or you find your local nursery or a small nursery and you buy from them and help that small business and that's how you get your plants if you don't have the capacity to do this. I just want to share what works for me, what we've worked up to. I've only been doing my own tomatoes for the past two years. This is year number three. So I mean it's just baby steps and I want to encourage you to do that prioritize what you want to do and if homesteading is that thing go ahead and hit subscribe because I will show you how I've done it and how I'm going to continue to do it and the plans and the dreaming and everything that we have going forward I have a feeling that our farmstead is going to blossom our homestead is going to grow and I want you guys to be there with me I don't mean in subscribers I don't mean in followers I mean in our physical homestead we're going to grow and it's going to be awesome. We're going to have more animals. We're going to have <coughs> acreage put to use, trees, gardens, you name it. And I'm so excited that you guys are here with me. And I'm so grateful for all 200 of you. Thank you. And I will see you guys next time. You guys have a great rest of your week. And we'll talk to you Sunday. Bye.